Okay, here is my screencast-o-matic on our notes on identifying independent and dependent variables. So here you're going to be giving some, getting some sentences, some word problems, and you have to figure out which is the um, independent variable or the x and the dependent variable or the y. This will help us later on as we move toward graphing and setting up our graphs correctly. Because if you switch the variables and have the x where the y should be, your graph will come out backward. So here's an example. In the winter, more electricity is used when the temperature goes down, and less is used when the temperature rises. Um, I like to do a sentence to help uh, using the words depend on. So here is the sentence that I think would help you determine which variable is which. The amount of electricity depends on the temperature. So as you can see right here, we've written amount of electricity as the y and the temperature as the x because this is the dependent. So it is flipped a little bit. We're used to using the x on this side and the y, but I think it's easy just to set it up this way because of the sentence flows. The amount of electricity depends on the temperature. So there's your y and your x. Down here we have the cost for Peter to ship a package is based on its weight. The sentence to help, the cost depends on the weight. And so we have cost as the dependent and weight as the independent. The faster Will walks, the quicker he gets home to play hockey. The sentence to help, the time he gets home depends on the speed he is walking. So you've got time as the Y and speed as the X. And down at the bottom and on your own, Alessandro pays $10 an hour to rent a jackhammer for construction on his house. So go ahead and down here, fill in a sentence that you think would fit. It's a good sentence that I think would be the cost depends on the number of hours he rents the equipment. And that's enough for the first page.